all the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players. They have their entrances and their exits. And each man in his time plays many parts. His parts being seven ages. At first, the infant. Mewling and puking in nurse's arms. Then, the schoolboy with satchel laden, shining morning face, creeping unwillingly like a snail to school. Then, oh, the lover, sighing like a furnace, composing woeful ballads to his mistress. Eyebrow. Then, the soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the part. Sudden in quarrel, jealous in honour, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Then, the justice. <laughs> a fine round belly, a good cape and lined. Eye severe, beard of formal cut, full of wise sores, modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon. Spectacles on nose, pouch on side. His youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunken shank. And his big, manly voice turning again to childish treble. Pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, that ends this strange and eventful history is second childishness a mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything Never talk to me, I will weep. Weep, but have the good grace to consider that tears do not become a man. But do you not think I have just cause to weep? If good or good a cause as any, therefore weep. His hair is of the very dissembling colour. Yes, it's something browner than Judas's. In faith, his hair is of a good colour. Ah, uh, yes, it's an excellent colour. Your chestnut was ever the only colour. But why did he swear he would come this morning and then comes not? There is no truth in him. Do you think so? Yeah, but for his verity in love. Not true in love. When he is in, but I think he's not in. But you have heard him downright swear that he was. Was is not in.